Hi, I'm Blake, President of Master Wholesale. Today we're here to assemble an MK TX4. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and take the uh, stand out of the box. And as you can see, it comes fully assembled, so we're just going to go ahead and set this out behind. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, open up the box and start taking stuff out. Blade, splash guard, the hose for the water, side table, guide, instructions, water pump, and the plug. Get the saw out. Set the saw down. Remove the plastic. Also inside the box, underneath the saw is the side table. We're going to go ahead and set that over there and get rid of the box. Okay, next thing we're going to do is go ahead and set the saw up on the stand. Next thing you do after you put the saw on the stand is you're going to go ahead and loosen up the clamp. Push down a little bit and tighten it up. That'll keep your saw from falling off. Slide the tray in. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and install the water pump. Get out of the box. Take our clear plastic tubing and hook it on here and we're going to take this here clamp, compress it with the pliers, slide it on to make a nice tight seal. Then we're going to go ahead and stick the pump down in the hole. I'm going to run the hose out through this little hand right here. I'll keep it from getting messed up with the tray when you're using it. Same with the plug. Then we're going to take the clear hose, we're going to hook it up right here, push in, it's self sealing. We're going to take the plug, and there's a plug right back here. We're going to go ahead and plug that in. Mike, next thing we're going to do is we're going to put on the back splash guard. We'll go ahead and line it up on these two pegs here. We're going to take our two hoses and slide them to the left and the right so it's clearing the sides here. And we're going to go ahead and shove it in all the way until it seals right along this place here. The news, we're going to install the side splash guard. Just go ahead and get two pegs, one here, one here. Line them up and then push it until it's sealed right here. Then we're going to take our side table and we're going to lift up a little bit, drop it in, and that's all ready to go. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put the blade on the saw now. We're going to loosen this on the this side over here, let the head up. We're going to uh, take this out, lift the guard up. Right here is two wrenches to come with the saw. We put one into the back here and one on the front. We're going to go ahead and loosen the nut off. It's uh, very important to note that. Uh, the blade rotates this way, so you need to make sure to look at the arrow on your tile saw blade and make sure that it's rotating the same direction. So the arrow's right here, you can't probably see that. Go ahead and put it on the saw. The other thing is this saw has a one inch arbor, so a five eighths inch blade won't fit. The one inch arbor allows for the, the mortar to have a bigger bearing, which will make it outlast some of the other direct dive motors by quite a bit. So what the sacrifice is having one inch arbor so when you're ordering blades for this make sure you're ordering a saw blade that has a one inch arbor so we'll go ahead and do that slip our wrench back in here and we're going to tighten it 
tighten it up like so. Put the guard back down. And put that in there like so. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put our wrenches back where we got them from so they're there next time we need them. And we'll bring the head down to where it's just into the tray. Lock it back down. And I'm going to put the guide on. And then all we need to do is fill it with some water and go ahead and make some cuts. Okay, we're going to go ahead and fill it full of water. We got it, uh, we filled it up to about the line right here, full of water. We can go ahead and fire it up and make a cut um, so you can see how it performs. Yeah. straight cut. Okay, that's our video for today. Hopefully you uh, guys got some useful information out of that. Be sure to check out Master Wholesale for some uh, more videos. We're making them all the time for you.